In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process of designing a funnel in SolidWorks. First, I'm going to create a new file. It's going to be a part. Here we have the design canvas and I also want to save this file before starting. I want to save it as funnel1. I already created a file so I'm just replacing it with the new one and you can always create a new file. So I'm going to choose front plane for drawing the profile and then I'm going to use revolve boss or base. So front plane sketch first with origin as center I'm going to draw a straight line its vertical line and then a horizontal one like this it is fine to use random dimensions initially later we can always edit the dimensions using smart dimension tool that we have here now I'm going to use smart dimension uh, this one over here is going to be 150 and this here is going to be 5 mm and then we have this this can be something like uh, 85 And this can be mm, let's make it 60 all right now we are done with the basic profile of the funnel I'm gonna go to features tab and use revolve boss or base for the axis of revolution I'm going to select this line so that we'll get a shape of funnel as you can see, we have a basic shape of funnel right now and uh, it is a solid. Now we need to make it hollow. To do that, I'm going to use shell feature. Now when I use shell feature, we have the thickness as 10 mm, which is too big. So what I want to do is I just want to make it uh, something like 1.5 mm thick and here I need to select the face I'm gonna select this face here okay so now we have the hollowness over here but we still don't have a hole here I'm gonna do that once we do some changes to this but for now I'm gonna leave it as it is also we can uh, make some small changes here so I wanna go to this face and start a sketch here and I wanna go normal to this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a lip or an extension over here so that there will be a small structure which can be used to hold the funnel. So I'm going to select this face and click on convert entities but make sure that the convert entities is being selected only when you are in sketch mode otherwise you won't be able to convert the entities also I want to convert this entity um, I think we don't really need this or yes we don't really need this as of now 
So I just created the outer circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use offset entities and I'm going to select this circle here. That looks fine. Okay. Now we have two circles and they are fully defined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use extruded boss or base for these two circles. And instead of 10 mm, I'm going to use 1.5 mm so that we have uniform thickness. Okay. Also, we can make a small change to this. I'm going to go to uh, sketch again. And I want to go normal to this particular face. And here I'm going to create a small structure. First, I'm going to convert these entities. And then I want to create the structure. So it's going to be somewhat like this, a line here. And then uh, I'm going to use an arc. Mm, let's make it somewhat like this. And then another line now I'm going to make few changes here I just want this to be tangent okay and I want to add another relation over here to make it tangent so we're just confirming the things and uh, we have this point and origin coincidental to each other or vertical sorry so these two are vertical and smart dimension this is going to be I would say 15 mm and this one over here is going to be 7.5 mm. Now the sketch is fully defined, but uh, I want to trim the entities here. So okay, and I'm going to go to features and then extrude boss or base. Now this one, instead of going up, it will come in the downward direction and make sure the merge result is selected. So click on this reverse button and the extrusion will come in the down di downward direction. Click on OK. So now we are done with some um, basic changes to the part. Now I'm going to go back to this particular thing and I'm going to click on front view I'm going to go normal to front view and I'm going to start a sketch I'm going to go with a line so I want to use somewhat like 14 and then so I just created a profile here it's a triangular section what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully define this by using And now the sketch is fully defined. So I'm going to go to features 
extruder cut or simply I'll be using 10 mm here okay so this is how you can design a funnel this is just a basic version I'm gonna discuss more about some advanced features we can use for designing such things subscribe to the channel for more such videos and design tutorials until then bye bye